What it do? It's your boy Bobby Racksmith, from you are tuned in to the buzz. You did. What's up, y'all? It's your girl Tina Ford, and this is the buzz. South by Southwest. Like it's some music festival in Austin, Texas. And um we was in this one little bar, man, that when people was rocking with us and they never knew who I was or who who I was with. They didn't know none of that. 
So they was rocking with it like they heard it before. My favorite performance um, has to be when I went to LA. Then the soul know me. And I think I had like a 15 minute set and they rocked out all 15 minutes. And got me high as hell afterwards. My favorite song to perform was all songs. It would be between No They Hate It and Bad. What qualities make a great musician or artist? Um, I'm going to say you got to have a certain amount of charisma. Um, you got to be creative. You got to have some type of confidence. Like, not some type. You got to have confidence. And kind of somewhat be humble. The best advice that I was given came from my mentor. Shout out to Big Keys. He told me uh, when I dropped my first mixtape to uh, stay moving with your music. Do not sit around Arkansas with your music. Just keep moving around with it and it's gonna pay out. One message I give to my fans, it's, it's possible. If you got a dream that you wanna chase, it's possible. Go out there and execute it. What I want to be known for in this industry um, basically that I covered all the grounds. I might start off as an artist, but I probably want to end this as a mogul, you know, an executive. You know, I just want to show you that I did the, I did the, the groundwork before I got behind the scenes. So, just want my name to have good feedback on it as always. What's next for Bobby Rex now? Um, uh, nothing. Black Ball Bobby finna take over this motherfucker. He finna drop a single called Tough, featuring my guy Papa Corleone. You know what I'm saying? Have I dealt with anybody taking my music concepts or whatever? I'm currently dealing with that. And I ain't gonna say he stole my song, but it's just like he had the same concept I had. And I ain't even gonna, uh, I just feel like mine's better. But I'm gonna have some fun with an industry rapper right now. And people can call it cloud chasing or a gimmick or whatever. But I'm just gonna do what most rappers would do. And I'm just gonna show you. New single coming. What I'm currently working on is my second project, Erection If You Trust 2. No date on the release yet, but it's coming. I also have a single drop in September 3rd. What was the reason behind Tuck? Um, I felt like as I was um, working on the project and I knew I wanted to have my alter ego go against myself, I felt like the alter ego needed a, a lead single too, like to compliment like uh, Rex, Bobby Rex Smith's uh, single. So, which will be Project Pair Flow. The vibe on the album, man, it's a dope ass vibe, man. Like, you gonna get anything that you think you're not gonna get on that, you gonna get it. Man, it's kind of like growth from my first mixtape, introducing the alter ego, and still, still letting the, the fans and the new listeners know that, hey, you can trust in me. One thing I want the fans to remember about my place. Um, he stayed consistent, he didn't give up. And, he made a name for himself.